another MBK Design video. My name is Annika, one of the creative team member from MBK Design and we are in August now and August is uh, one of my favorite collection and let's right jump into this collection. Um, we have beautiful word arts and my favorite are the loops here and of course I will use one of them. And um, first I will start with uh, watercolor painter, painting, watercolor paper, sorry. And I will split my sheet this time. On top I will add this uh, watercolor and on the bottom I will add a white paper. And this time I will resize the paper. So I make my sheet active and I go to image and image size to see which image, which size my sheet have. We have width with 2400 and height is 3300 and I will resize my paper to the width and click OK because as I said I only want to have the paper on top so it doesn't matter if it is not long enough. Um, image and image size and now we type in 2400 and click OK and then we drag it on our sheet and bring it back and on the bottom I will add a white paper, some of the gessos here and we will use this one. Again go to image, image size 2400 and something like this. Okay. And now I will add one of the loops. And this time I will use this one. And we drag it on top of our paper. And now I need to find a place where I can still see the weeks. Let's resize it a little bit, something, something like this. Okay, I think this is fine. And um, the loop here has a shadow and the woman not and if we apply now a shadow something like this it really looks ugly we can't do this so in this game in this case was what i do is i make a new layer and i change the foreground color to black and i choose a round soft brush and reduce the opacity around 20 or 30 and we can change it after again on the layer, the opacity, and then let's zoom in a little bit. And then I think where I want to have the shadow, it's um, on the left side or on the right side, it doesn't matter. And then I paint a little bit on the edges to give it a shadow. So I will make it a little bit smaller, my brush, and I will start here and just um, paint around the edges something like this okay and then we need to bring back the layer to the under the woman of course and now you have this um, a little bit of depth so we can now with the arrow key um, place our shadow okay and if you want you can now change the opacity also a little bit and I think now it looks a little bit better because we have a little bit of depth. This is before and this is after. And then of course I need a word art. Let's to choose one. We have also the word arts from um, Lily here. Yeah, I like this. So 
on this sheet it's again a word art in the focus not a photo but it's totally up to you what you want to do and now we need some brushes and we have those arrows here well, we can use one of the arrows and bring it on top and I will resize it a little bit and we have styles of course we have those styles paint and we have this golden styles also with an embossed and I already installed them these are the golden styles these are the colors and these are the paint styles just go to the folder double click on this file here and it's automatically installed or go to styles and the lines here and load styles so now let's apply a style one of the golden I think this is nice and we need some more we have those vintage brushes and I will also we apply a style here okay and what else do we have the artsy bits and pieces let's try this one with the flowers yeah but we need to put it under the word art okay this Okay, and let's choose a color. Hmm, I think this one. And what else do we have? A flower. We have flowers, um, elements with shadow and without shadow and go to layer, arrange, bring it on top. Okay, yeah, I think this is enough we can try another brush mm, yeah okay we will use we can use this too okay this is it. This is my um, calendar sheet for August. And thanks for watching and see you. Bye.